Silence, silence, silence. We have had you. Yes. Yeah, 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 Great Nigerian youth. Great Nigerian youth. Build the nation. Build the youth. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for being here today. Thank you, thank you for being here today. On behalf of the Honorable Minister Mala Muhammad Musabelo, the Honorable Minister of State, Dr. Amatu Tijani Aliyu, I bring you greetings from FCT administration. You have been here for a number of times, for, for a while now. It is not that we did not know or we ignored you, but we, we saw the need to review what is the situation so that we'll be able to also talk with you in an organized and concerted way to be able to update you on what is happening. But before we say anything, we know you come with your leadership. I want to hear beyond the placards what are the issues at stake. So who is the leader that will speak to us? For the pump sec personally. Boza! 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 Three boza for the director DSS. Boza! 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 Three boza for the commissioner of police. Boza! 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 Three boza for the chief of staff to the minister of FCC. Boza! 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 And all the security men who have been here who have been understanding with our plight. Three boza for them. Boza! Boza! I, what I did now is just to establish the fact that we are not here to constitute nuisance <clears throat> and, and we are not bad acts. We are here as legitimate Nigerians the same way you are a legitimate Nigerian to also show that we have a right and that right is in your hand and that right should be exercised in one way or the other. Yes. Sir, this morning, since yesterday, after my appearance on Democracy Today, my house today, I woke up, I saw not less than 30 youths in my house. <laughs> Is it 50? Yes, more than Threatening 50. to burn down my house and myself with my family because they feel that I have sold out and I'm standing with the government and that I have to say look if that is the case my organ who is the minister in a peaceful way and manner we have the men very very peaceful as you can see all of us here, we are not hired. We are here for solidarity. We are not paid to be here. Everybody who is here, one person has not been given 10 naira to be here. We are coming here because we know that people in power are always blind. And sometimes when they go blind, it is our responsibility to remind them that something is going wrong. Sir, there is an error somewhere. Yes. Never in the history of this country has there been any time that people who have been elected have been given the mandate of the people and you say they should go and stay for another one year. Sir, please, we are begging Mr. President or the Minister not to allow political desperados, political frosters to control him. We know the Minister as a man of justice. We know the Minister is under pressure at the moment to do the bidding of some people. 
But we want the minister to understand that they cannot swear in people two times in a single tenor. Yes, the people who were sworn in were sworn in with the old electoral act and not the new electoral act yes. mr president have assent to the new electoral act and it begins with the people who are to be sworn in again and what we are asking here sir is that you go ahead and swore in the people. We also know that there is a kangaroo judgment. According to my people, am I speaking your mind? We also know that there is a backyard judgment that was gotten. We don't want you to respect that judgment. Because we know how many people have not respected judgment in this country. Yes. I don't want to mention that. Am I saying the truth? Yes. We know how many people have refused to respect or even to go and resign after buying political 100 million naira for. Yes. <laughs> but we don't want to discuss that. Yes. Sir, please, as a youth leader, in the FCT, you? I have tried to manage and control the people to make sure we work within the ambit of the law yes. and the people. Yes. Yes. Bam! You need to help me. I'm under pressure. I am not talking about normal pressure, intensive pressure. More than that. And the pressure will be extended to your office if something is not done. Uh, we are in your humble office this morning to tender our own grievances as youths, indigenous, and residents of the FCT. Wow. Because three years ago, an election was conducted and chairman swore in. And before us, they swore an oath yes. to stay three years in office. Yes. We that voted them, sir, we voted them to stay three years in office. Yes. Yes. And after the attention elapsed, we went back to the pool and voted for people that would take over the mountain of leadership. Yes. Even though they dragged us to court, and as I'm talking to you, there is a case in the Federal High Court in Maitama that some greedy set of chairmen, outgoing chairmen, petitioned the FCT minister that there should be tenure elongation. That is the only case we are aware of. The sitting was done some days back, and the case adjourned till the 8th of June. Yes. Sir, the Federal High Court Maitama is a competent court of law. Yes. We don't know. Two days to the swearing in, another judgment came in, which our people refer as the kangaroo judgment. Yes. 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 Stating that the chairman that are on seat now should still remain in office till the next one year. Sir, those chairmen are not coming on seat or they are not remaining on seat to govern animals. Yes. Yes. They want to govern us and we say no to that. Yes. 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 They want to rule us and we say their tenure has elapsed. Yes. 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 The reason why we are saying this, sir, the danger ahead is our fear. Yes. We don't know their plan. And that is why they are planning to remain in office. Yes. The area council chairman of Gwagwalada, as we are speaking, has vacated office. Yes. We want the remaining five area council chairmen to take that posted and vacate their offices. Yes. If, if they have brought a court judgment, sir, saying that they are supposed to remain in office, they should vacate the office first. Then, if 
the, the, the law or the minister wants to swear them in, in Shubuda. But first of all, the three years that elapsed yesterday, they should leave. Yes. 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 Because they sworn an oath, the certificate of return that is in their answer is for three years. Yes. Yes. Now, another election was conducted in February. Chairman elected. Certificate of return issued to them, sir. Yes. That was even before the Electoral Act was signed by Mr. President. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Sir, if they knew these people were not going to swear in, in the beginning, election wouldn't have been conducted. Oh, yes. Certificate, yes. certificate of return wouldn't have been issued. Yes. Sir, we are not talking about secondary school wire certificate. No. We are not talking about degree. So this is something that people walk around all the villages in FCT campaigning and we give them our mandate. Yes. We want them to represent us. Yes. We are here not for violence, no. but we are here to tell the minister that we are together with him. Yes. He should go ahead and inaugurate our leaders today. Yes. We are standing by him. Today. Nobody is going to attack him. Today. Nobody is going to touch him. Yeah. We are here. Whatever support he needs, we know the minister to be a man of integrity. Yeah. We know him to be a man of true and good uh, 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 antecedents. Yeah. We want him to live by that. Yes. Please, sir. All what we are asking for is that our chairman should be sworn in today. Yeah. Hold on, one minute. I've actually one, one minute. spoken my Three Boza for mind. them standing under the sun to listen to us. Boza! 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 The only thing I want to tell us, please, for the sake of peace, for the sake of peace, those of us who have applied the road of Gagolade this morning and Abadi have already seen what is going on here. Yes. We are here today because we don't want the same thing to happen in Amak. That is why we are here. And we tried our possible best to reduce the number of people that were supposed to be here today. Because we don't want clash, we don't want this protest to be hijacked. But please, for the sake of peace, let the writing to be done. For the sake of peace that we have always enjoyed in FCT, let the writing to be done. Yes. We trust the minister that he can do that for us and we are telling you that the only thing that will make us live here today is when our chairman are called for swearing in. Anything short of that, we cannot assure you of controlling the thousands of youth that are there agree with what is presently going on in MCT today. So please, let the writing be done. Thank you and other senior stakeholders in the FCT. I know I have personal respect for some of you, personal relationship for some of you. So many of you are the all of you self. But the truth is that I am in a fix on this matter. I need you to understand me and then understand what is going on. When it comes to politics, is a special matter because it has to do with people's mandate. Particularly, I have one vote, but with them, I have 20,000 votes. Am I speaking your mind? Now, I want you to understand it from that end. It is people's mandate we are talking about here, and then their reaction is very dangerous for our society. We know the minister. We know him as a man who respects the rule of law. We know him as a man who has integrity. We know what the minister can do to protect the citizens of FCT. Yes. We know that only under Mohammed Musa Pello, our houses have not suffered so much demolition. We know that only under Mohammed Musa Pello, we know he's not a land grab. You understand me, sir? I need you to get that. We know the achievement of the minister and what he has done so far. Please, what we want is that this annulment should be addressed. There must have been mistakes somewhere, but we don't want this mistake to cost us the security of our city. Please, sir, we are begging, we are pleading, we have 
place our people under full control. Full control as I speak to you. As I speak to you now, the airport road leading to the airport will have been blocked. But I have refused to allow them to go there. I rather told them that we should come here. And I have reduced the number of people so that I will be able to manage the crowd. I, you will see it as an embarrassment, but I'm sorry, my hands are tight. And this is the only way we can be able to manage the people. Please, sir, help me to be able to manage the people further. Thank you.